Hey, morning guys. It's a cold one this morning. I'm freezing my ass off here at Devil's Alley Campground. Um, I've already gotten some breakfast cooking. Gonna have some oats to warm myself up. Slept pretty good last night. I don't know if you can hear it now, but you can hear the river like flowing over some rocks. It's really nice. And yeah, it was quiet. No trains or none that I heard. Uh, just a bit cold. Um, but yeah, aside from that, it rained a little bit, but not too much. And the sun's coming out today. It looks like it's going to be a nicer day than yesterday. I'll show you what I'm cooking. All right, so got some oats on. Um, got like a cup and a half. I'm going to have it with an apple and some jam and stuff. While it cooks, I'm going to strip down the tent, try and get out of here by like nine-ish. Guys, I had to show you this before I ate. Look at that. Porridge. Sugar, jam, uh, dry blueberries, and apples. Thumbs up for it. Come on. Pretty decent breakfast spot, right, guys? It's really nice here. Definitely try and fit this campsite into your trip if you do this. Okay, here's one for you guys. Water in the bottle, kind of brown. Water in the pot. Blue, but less blue than it was before. Okay, must be the oats that make it blue. See, I scrubbed it a little bit, and now look at it. If anyone knows what's going on, please let me know. I'm slightly concerned. All right, we're good to go. It's 9.30, so it's a pretty good time. It took me, what, I was out of bed at 8. I think it was 8, 9, it's an hour and a half. Be nice to get the time to 9, which I guess I'd have to get out of bed at like 7.30. That'd be, I think that'd be a good time to leave, you know? I mean, warms up a little bit by then. Gotten some water, so we're hitting the trails, guys. So I'm only three miles in, and I got a flat tire on the rear. Um, I'm not really sure why. Might have hit a rock. It was pretty rough coming out of that campsite, like, for the first mile or two. Uh, yeah, just gonna have to change it. Here on the trail. Mostly done t changing it now. Um, I think it had a slow leak. And it went a bit soft and then I think it might have gotten pinched um, between like the rim and the tire there and it had like a couple other holes in it so that tube's rubbish now it takes a while to get any air into it but I got to try and get enough in so that I want to get another pinch flat and then I'm hoping in the next town I can find a bike pump uh, little Orleans it's all a bit of effort to change it when it's set up for touring isn't it I had to even take the rear skewer out because of the way that the uh Panera works. Uh, anyway. So, about a mile from Little Orleans, I've come across this spot here. Now, I don't really know what this is. I'm pretty sure it's not the trail, but the sign's kind of confusing. It says trail continues this way two miles. So, I'm like, does that mean the trail ends? And then the other way, it just says, you know, um, where that campsite was. So, I'm going to go check this out. And, yeah, I wish my maps would load, but they won't. There's another tunnel up here. It's all closed off though. It's got like old wood structure um, inside though, which is pretty cool. Um, I honestly don't know where that part goes, but I'm just going to keep on the trail because I think that's the way to go. Why it would say trail continues two miles, I don't know, but no one has mentioned like any detour or anything. So let's go. About an hour in, done just over eight miles. Uh, like I'd mentioned earlier, since we've had that flat, I'm just trying to take it a bit easier. Um, the surface hasn't been too bad actually since around that area. It's been a couple rough spots. It's just like bigger rocks. And I'm just trying to go slow on those. Yeah, anyway, some really, really nice trail. Feels pretty secluded. Um, I haven't even been in a town for like a couple of days now. But I think there's a bigger one coming up. And we need some gas, so that would be good. I wanted to share this nice little bit of trail with you guys. We have not been in town for so long. It's a good thing I stocked up on so much food. Isn't this so nice? Anyway, I got a pretty good pace on just listening to some music. So I'll just keep pushing on. So we found ourselves at this Coal Hill Station. Um, I know that I'm east of uh, Little Orleans. But I don't see this on the map, and I messed up because at the last campsite, I didn't check to see how far the next one was, so kind of just gone blind right now. 
I can only assume I'll know when I'm in Hancock. So I'm somewhere there. Nah, I don't know, I just keep, keep going. Random piece of history. If anyone knows what this was, let us know. I'm guessing it's like an old pump house or something. And yeah, check out that up there as well. I'm, I'm thinking that up there is just to stop the rocks coming down. Yeah. Actually, it turns out those ruins were the, what was it, Round Top Cement Company. Oop. Yeah. And up there, those were kilns. Crazy. Whoa, whoa. Maybe that's one of the spots they dug lime out of. Not too sure. I think they called that Devil's Eye Brow or something. Well, look at it. Beautiful day for riding. Yeah, so we're at White Rock campsite now. The water works, filled up, and I'm making some lunch down there. It's a nice little site here, and I think there's a town just coming up as well. Two cups of basmati rice, some salsa. Now I'm uh, good to go again. Um, still don't know really where we're staying tonight. I don't have phone reception. I'm hoping this next little town, Hancock, is gonna have some butane for my burner. I might get away with a couple more meals, but I don't know for sure. Um, yeah, so we'll see you when we get there. Yeah, so we just popped into the CNO bicycle shop in Hancock. Grabbed another tube, it's only eight bucks. And they had these refills for 10 bucks. So I picked one up, that should be good. For now, anyway. And yeah, I oh, will see if I got reception, find a campsite, and probably go set up. It's about two o'clock, so it'd be nice to have an early afternoon off. All right, we're back on the trail. I uh, took the opportunity to use the internet, I finally got reception for a change. Um, I learned something. There is a rail trail, and I think it's all fully sealed, that runs pretty much parallel to this for like another 10 or 12 miles. And I think it has been pretty close to this since, you remember way back in this video, um, I saw that tunnel and I went up that weird ramp. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was part of the rail trail. So I saw some other people that were like, oh, we're gonna get off the CNO and ride along that for a bit because it's easier but I figured you know what like I'm here doing the CNO I don't want to like skip a piece of it so I'm just gonna stick to it you know I didn't want to cheat and uh, fuck, that was prickles <laughs> um, oh, damn. Uh, yeah I don't want to cheat it so we'll stick to it um, I think they were trying to convince me to do it so they felt better about skipping it uh, okay Let's hope I don't regret the decision. <laughs> Just going over an aqueduct. Um, I'm glad I came this way so far. Hasn't been too difficult riding, you know? A little bit in the back of my head, it's like, oh, Seawood Road would have been so chill, but, you know, this is uh, part of the challenge, I guess. And to be fair, like, some of the other people that were riding on that trail, like, their bikes were more than suitable for this. So I just don't really see why they wouldn't be. You know? <laughs> he says as he comes off one-handed down a descent. Yeah, I think I made the right choice, guys. Hello. Hello, home. Isn't this so cool? Someone's had a fire in there. It's amazing that this is all still standing here, you know, sort of. I suppose it was like a couple stories. That was probably like the top story up there. Sick. Yeah, so this is the Licking Creek campground. Now, um, it is a bit noisy here and it's another six miles to the next one. So I think I'm just going to push on. Wanted to grab a little bit of trail footage for you guys. Actually, it looks like this railway is still active. Looks a lot tidier than all the other ones we've seen. Ah. Oh, it's a bit rough under there. Okay. There's a few other guys on the trail right now. Probably gonna be camping with another one other guy. Saw another few go ahead, but I'm not sure where they're staying though. Remains to be seen for now. Oh, this is a good afternoon. 
warmer than yesterday so yeah the afternoons have been great for riding though compared to the cooler mornings look at this guys right off the trail there's a fort fort frederick 1974 well, that can't be right it's not that old maybe that's when it got restored let's go have a look i was just thinking how cool it would be to camp in here i'm sure you couldn't do it though they'd probably close up at sunset or something although there's not actually any gate on there but i doubt they'd let you wow this is like really well restored too look at this it's like a little set of steps you can kind of climb up Ah, oh, this is so thick. The sun's like in the wrong spot to show you guys, really, but... Oh. Whew. Alright, we're heading back down into the trail now. That was a cool little detour. There's always something interesting to see on this trail. I mean, if you like history. Anyway. Super historical. Yep. Yeah, we made it to North Mountain Hike a Biker. We'll go check it out. There is another site, like... 750 meters or so back, like whatever that is. Um, that looked pretty decent too, but there's cars there. Just stand by the river now, guys. Look how nice this is, man. This time of day just brightens everything up so yellow. And it's kind of weird, like the afternoons here are the best. They're the best time of day, I'm telling you. All right, so the tent's set up. I'm cleaned up, chucking some pasta on for dinner. And there's a few other people around, so just, uh, share some campfire stories or something before I get to bed. So thanks for watching the video guys. Hope you enjoyed it and join us for the next one tomorrow. See where we end up.